The checklist screen of the Prototrack LPM is a powerful tool that can be used as an aid during setup or changeover of a job or workpiece. The screen is used to walk the user through all 12 steps required to run a program. To view the checklist, press the Machine Setup Soft Key and then the Checklist Soft Key. Here is a checklist of the steps and their status. There are three different colors. Green is Go, items that are completed or don't need attention. Yellow is Caution. We recommend you check the item, however it's not necessary. Yellow will not stop the machine from running. Red is Stop. These items must be addressed. If any item is red, the machine will not run. Pressing Check automatically changes screens to that particular item. Pressing Return will bring you back to the checklist screen. Pressing OK will turn the status to green. You can then cursor down to the other steps if necessary. Here, we are going to check the Z safety height. If we cursor down to a step that is red, notice it doesn't say Check and OK, it says Do. In this case, fixture ball lock locations must be entered in order for the machine to run. Once that is done, press Return. Notice the status for the ball lock locations are now green. Again, if any of these items are red, the operator cannot run the machine. The items that are red are critical and must be addressed for safe and proper operation during the setup phase of the LPM. Here, I'm going to cursor down to Assigning Tools to the ATC, which is in red. After I hit Do, I can now assign all the tools to the ATC, and once that is completed, I will hit Return. That will return us to the screen of the checklist. We can now see that that is green, but there are two new items that are red. There are two new things that need to be done. We have to put in tool length offsets for the tools that were assigned to the ATC. And once that is completed, you can now see it's green. We have to put the tools into the tool carousel. So once the, all the tools have been added, we can then see that when, after I hit return, everything is now green. We do have some caution if we wish to go up and check toolpath, see if our toolpath is okay in all different planes. We can then hit return. We can go back. And remember that once all this data has been inputted, if we wish to, we can now save our program. With all steps on the checklist in green, we can now start running our program assured that we have covered what is necessary to run the machine safely and successfully. For more tips on operating your track LPM, click the link below.